All right, today we're talking about the basics of a two node camera in After Effects. So what you're gonna do in a very simple 3D scene, make sure that all of your layers are set to 3D. I have some lights just to light the scene, create some depth in here. To create a two node camera, you're gonna hold Control Alt Shift C on your keyboard and that will bring up your camera settings. We will select the type, make sure it's set to two node camera and then you're going to select your preset focal length. I generally like working with the 35 millimeter, but there is no right answer here. In the same way that a photographer would use different lenses, each one has a purpose, and we'll talk about those lenses in another video. We'll just use a 35 millimeter to start, and we will use a default camera name. Click OK, and that will make our camera. Now, what's interesting about a two-node camera is that when you hit P, it's going to be in your default position for a HD composition, 1920 by 1080 composition. So this will be at the 960 by 540 and about this far away from your center point. Now, if you hit a on your keyboard with the camera selected that will bring up your point of interest and what that means is that is where your camera is going to be looking so if i hold shift and hit p on my keyboard and bring up my position if i move my camera to the left or drag the x value around to a lower value that will move the camera to the left but we can see it's locked on our position and if we go the opposite way it's going to bring it to the right and we're going to be orbiting around this one spot by just changing the x property so we're going to undo that by hitting Control z bring this back to 960 and now if we want to move our position of interest we can change where the camera is looking because it's always going to be looking at this one spot if i want to bring it up i will select this middle property and i will bring the value down and after effects is a little weird like that where if you bring your y value property down it actually brings it up in space not sure why after effects does that but that's just how the world likes to work and same with the z we can bring it forward and backward and because our camera is in our default position it's looking at something closer to the camera so i'm just going to move it over to the right just a little bit and then if i change where the camera is looking if I bring it to negative Z, it's going to bring it closer to uh, closer to the camera, so to speak, I guess, closer to us, closer to the center composition. Or if I push the value more positive, it will have the camera look at an object further away. So that's the two node camera. Now, one thing I do want to show you is the use of nulls when it comes to using a two node camera. So if you go to layer, new, and then null object, you'll see the keyboard shortcut here, control, alt, shift, y. We can click that and we'll call this camera pivot. Pivot. We'll set this camera pivot null object to a 3D object. And then we will pick whip the camera, the actual camera property to the camera pivot. And what's cool about this is now we have a gizmo to change the rotation of this null and then we can also use this as our like way to change the the tilt or the banking of the camera now i know it's getting a little funky here so we can do some really cool ways with having this camera pivot control the rotation of where our camera is going to orbit around our subject so if we hit R on our keyboard and we zero out the orientation I just like working with the X Y and Z rotation properties it just splits it up makes it a little bit easier for me to work with I can set the Y rotation at frame 0 0 to positive 45 and then I will go forward in time to about four seconds and then I will set this to about negative 45 now, what's really cool about this now is if I play this animation back, I will get this orbit effect around my subject. Now, if I wanted to move this, I could also do the same thing. I could make a keyframe on the position, and then I will bring this to a lower value on the X, and then I will go to the two second mark. I'll hit U on my keyboard 
to hide those keyframes and then bring it up again by hitting U once again. And then I'll actually navigate to the four second mark. So then I can bring the X position to a more positive value and that will move the camera around. So now we'll get an animation like this where it's sort of moving and also orbiting around the camera pivot. And what's all really cool about this is because the point of interest is set to the camera pivot, it will always look at that one spot. I could technically change this, but you generally don't want to. It just makes things a lot more complicated than it needs to be. So really what's happening is if I go to my custom view here, I'm now operating in a uh, imaginary camera in After Effects. And if I move around, we can see what's happening. We have our main camera here, and it's looking at this one position. And if I were to bring this camera up, it's not going to actually change with the camera pivot so instead we would want to control our camera position using our camera pivot and we can see that it's rotating around this property so you can do some very fancy fun things with that i hope you learned something let me know in the comment section down below if you did if you have questions comments concerns comment section is down there for that as well hit the subscribe button and hit that like button so then i can be further reminded that this is valuable to you and make more stuff like this have a wonderful day and eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight bye